Hello guys, welcome to my channel. And the topic is uh, water on the brain or medically known as uh, hydrocephalus. Yeah, but before starting, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. You know, the hydrocephalus uh, is a condition which is characterized uh, by the excessive accumulation of the fluid in the brain and uh, it may be congenital or it may be acquired so which means is that uh, it may be present at birth or maybe uh, it can happen to uh, in uh, later stage you know you know the communicating hydrocephalus occurs when a cerebrospinal fluid can still flow among the ventricles you know? And the non communicating hydrocephalus, which is also called, called as obstructive hydrocephalus, it occurs when the flow of the cerebrospinal fluid is blocked. You know. And uh, hydrocephalus affects about one out of uh, 500 children. And the most obvious indication of the hydrocephalus in the children and the infants is often a rapid increase in head circumference or an uh, unusually large head size. You know. And other symptoms um, may include like vomiting or uh, sleepiness or irritability or uh, downward deviation of the eyes, you know, which is also known as, uh, also called as uh, sun setting and seizures, you know. Now, the older children and uh, adults uh, may experience uh, different symptoms because of their skull cannot expand to accumulate the buildup of uh, cerebrospinal fluid, you know. And the symptoms in the older patients may include headache, which is followed by vomiting, may be followed by nausea, uh, papilledema, which is a swelling of the optic disc, which is part of the optic nerve, you know, blurred VN, uh, or the double VN, and uh, urinary incontinence, lethargy, drowsiness, uh, irritability, and the changes in the personality or the uh, cognition, you know. So these are the common signs and symptoms in the older children and the adults, you know. Now, the cause of uh, hydrocephalus are uh, poorly understood, so we don't know what uh, exactly causes it, you know. And uh, uh, it's most often it's treated by the surgically inserting a shunt system, you know. So it's kind of stent, you know. So the surgical treatment is a uh, choice, a treatment of choice, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about hydrocephalus, or any other disease or a medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com or alternatively you can click the link in the description area. And if you have any question about any disease, any medical condition, uh, please leave the comment and uh, I will try to answer those questions. Thank you very much. Goodbye.